Hi, my name is Bruce Wade. I want to address the aspect of innovation for profit within an MPO. So a lot of people are asking, well, you know, we're an MPO and we run uh, social services and we, we got products that we developed that run our funding and stuff. But how on earth do we re-gear our business to make a profit? Where do we get the ideas from? So I just want to deep dive a little bit into this word innovation. There are two types of innovation that I want to focus on. The first one is a push innovation, and the other one then is a pull innovation. So what's the difference? Who's doing the pushing and who's doing the pulling? Well, it's the environment that you live in. So one of the things that we like to do with people is we come like to visit, just like visit and come and meet the team and stuff. But also what we're doing is an environmental assessment. We come and look and see what's within the organization, what's around the organization, and in the immediate area. Also understanding the needs and wants of the community that might not be served by the NPO. And once we understand all that, we can then begin to analyze where innovation is required. So, let me get back to the push innovation. The push innovation is something that you've developed that you then push on to the clients. You develop something new that the clients um, or the community might not need or understand until the need is created. So, you go out there and you create a need through education, you create a need through awareness campaigns, and then that need becomes a apparent to your clients and then they come and buy. So the push innovation is developing something that's new and then pushing it out into your community. The pull innovation is so much easier because understanding where the need already exists, you are then able to develop a product and then have it pulled into the market. Or he said, so much easier to sell an ice cold Coke to someone who is already thirsty. And that's the pull, rather than trying to force Coke on somebody when they're not thirsty with a push. So looking back into your organization, innovation, great, but what can you do? I just want to leave you with three little things, and we're going to expand on this on our webinar in a couple of weeks' time. So the first one is looking at your assets and repurposing some of your assets that you've got. We also look at refocusing intellectual property, things like workshops, uh, counseling services, et cetera, et cetera. So the stuff that you've already got, stuff that you own, your intellectual property with that. And then releasing the opportunity. So those are the three aspects that we sit on top of innovation. So it's about repurposing, refocusing, and releasing and to be able to create that. Through these, we're able to pretty much find an innovative way to make money and turn that gap into a profit for your nonprofit.